happy Friday. I can't believe that it's the end of the work day and it is so bright and sunny outside. I love daylight savings. <laughs> So I'm actually starting off this vlog doing a very adulty thing and I'm gonna go do my taxes. <laughs> so I have all my tax forms together and I'm just going to run down to H&R Block, get my taxes done so that it's over with and I don't have to worry about it. And then, yeah, just gonna enjoy the weekend. Quick little taxes doing outfit, I guess. <laughs> just wearing a little turtleneck blouse with this fuzzy biker jacket. <laughs> I curled my hair and uh, just doing the pleated skirt and some boots. Going to just throw on my bag and I'm gonna run down the streets and get my taxes done. <laughs> Saturday. I have no makeup on. And so last night, um, Lyle and I went to dinner. We went to this place called, I think, Raphael's, and it was in Greenwich Village. And we had pasta, and it was a really nice night. It was nice. And we had cheesecake too, which was really nice. Yeah, now this morning, I think. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do yet. I kind of want to take pictures for my Instagram because I haven't done that in so long. I used to do shoot Saturdays where I would basically go out and take photos by myself on the street in New York with a tripod, which is uh, not as actually not as scary as it sounds, but I'll leave a link up above to exactly uh, how I did that because it's an interesting video. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I might do that and yeah, I guess we'll see where the day takes us. I found some tulips at the local grocery store and they are so pretty. I'm really, really excited about them. Sorry, I'm out of breath because I live in a five floor walk up. So I have to walk up many flights of stairs and what was that breath? <laughs> but yay, I'm so excited. Oh, and you know why? Because today is the first day of spring. <laughs> today is March 20th, AKA the first day of spring. And this is just so fitting. Tulips are so spring. So I think I'm gonna put them in my pretty little vase right here. And before that, actually, it gave me a really cute idea for a photo because you know how I was saying that I wanted, sorry, I'm just putting my stuff down. Basically, so what I was saying was how I wanted to do my, my like shoot Saturdays today. Well, I don't have that much time to do a full like four outfit look, but I was just thinking how cute are these flowers with this jacket? It reminds me of the, very much of one of the like Emily in Paris looks. So maybe I'll do something like this outside. Uh, I just need to put some makeup on, but I feel like that'd be really cute. Okay, so here's my inspiration for today, the tulips. And I was wearing such a bright coat and they were a matching color, so I thought I should totally shoot them together and it'll just be like a really bright, happy, fun, colorful pink look. This is my Topshop jacket that I got 
last over the fall and I was doing my Emily in parachute and then I just totally fell in love with it I actually think I might I can do the top button which I think is cute but I think I'm actually going to undo it because yeah maybe like that my little Chanel bag I never use this because I like save it for best it is my absolute favorite bag ever and I like I'm so precious with it, so, but, you know, gotta use it sometimes, so, here's the look, kind of very casual on the bottom, with the, like, cuffed jeans and the sneakers, so, yeah, I really like this, feels like a little chic little look, so I'm gonna go shoot this, and, basically, to do so, I have my bag here, so I have my tripod, this is my camera, it is a Canon T3i DSLR, throwing it way back, an 18 to 200, and then the aperture is 3.5 to 6.3. So I don't really get blurry backgrounds with this, but that's okay because I like to have the backgrounds as it, because I feel like it helps kind of tell the story. Um, so I do like my backgrounds in Soho. So I'm just gonna throw this all in my bag, grab my battery that's charging down here, and hit the streets. <laughs> my background these white pillars right here I think that they're just so pretty so Soho and so historical and I actually think I did a shoot here in March of last year right before COVID started I think it was one of the last <laughs> shoot Saturdays that I did um, before the world <laughs> turned into what it is so yeah I'm gonna do this I'm just gonna set you guys down and kind of show you how I do this and what I get up to called Baya Bar just opened and it had this sign on it. It said coming soon for so long. 
and now it has this really long line. I like didn't even know that it was that good of a thing, but I'm really excited now because I live so close to this. So I can't wait to come here and like get smoothies and acai bowls and juice and stuff. And like I almost want to go now, but there's such a long line, so <laughs> that's cool. All right, so I wanted to show you what I got at H&M. I got this button-down white top. It's just a really classic kind of style, and I saw that it was on, I was searching online for something like this first. So I've been looking for like the perfect, just classic button-down white crisp top that I would do like a cute kind of hairstyle in like this with like the gold clip. I don't know if you can see if I'm pointing the camera in the right place and like a red lip, maybe some gold hoops, and just like really sophisticated, and with like a pair of just kind of, you know, cool jeans, probably not these ones, but uh, you know, just another pair. And I was searching for so long of like, what's, what is the right kind of, because there's so many different white button down tops, obviously, and this one has what's called a split neck. So as you can see, the buttons kind of stop here in the middle, and there's no buttons here. So there's like a little bit of a collar and then basically a split neck. So what I like about the split neck is it's kind of like you can undo more buttons for like, you know, just like a casual dinner, or like drinks out one night and yeah, or you can button it up, you know, all the way, wear it to work. It's like the most versatile piece that everyone should have in their closet. And I just haven't had one because I've been searching for so long. And what I like about this one too is that like it's a crisp white but the fabric isn't that like, you know like that like guy button up shirt that's like a thicker material. It's more of like a very light kind of airy, almost tiny bit sheer material. And so it's just the perfect one. I will for sure leave it linked in the description box if you guys are looking for the same thing. But I feel like I finally found it. So I'm really excited now. I just steamed it so that was really easy and now it's all wrinkle free. And I can't wait to wear it. I can't wait to have a reason to wear it. Uh, I have so many cute outfits <laughs> for when COVID is over. this skirt is because it's from it's like a mock love shack fancy skirt so love shack fancy made a white skirt just like this and it was really cute they sold it for a while i don't know if it's sold out now but but it's pretty expensive very pricey for a skirt and airy made one that was pretty much exactly the same but for much less and so yeah i got it it came in the mail i'm really excited and obviously it's not really the time of year to be wearing it so much yet but once we get in more into spring and summertime i will probably be wearing this like every day it is so cute so it came in, it was like in stock, and then it sold out really quickly, and then I kept like watching the site, and it came back, and I bought it immediately, 
and I notified you guys on my Instagram stories. So that's the Fashion Squirrel. If you guys aren't already following on the Fashion Squirrel, definitely do check that out because I will always post on my stories like if I find a really good mock Love Shack fancy piece or if something Love Shack fancy goes on sale or any just like cute clothes in general. Uh, definitely on my Instagram stories, I will post them first. So yeah, uh, this is super, super cute. I'll leave it linked down below. Um, and yay! <laughs> Thank you. So this is supposed to be the best pizza well, in New York. Like One of the best? Nice. It's good. Okay. I'm excited. Everyone thinks it's good. Okay. It's not as like thin as other pizza that I've had in New York. No, like it's definitely thin, thin crust, but it's not the thinnest. No, but I do like the nice char that get on. back now at my apartment it is Saturday night at 7 p.m. and Lyle is doing dinner with his friend and his friend has his parents in town for the weekend and invited him to dinner which is so nice so I'm on my own for dinner tonight I'm not so sure exactly what I want to do yet but <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that I want to do tomorrow and I also need to do laundry tomorrow which just like takes hours and I need to go grocery shopping so I was like why don't I go grocery shopping now and maybe find something there for dinner if not maybe order dinner and just I don't know watch a movie just kind of chill to myself I'm actually kind of excited uh, not excited to walk all the way to Trader Joe's though uh, it's like a 15 minute walk there and back it'll be fine so yeah, I think I'm gonna go do that now. The good thing is that it's a nice kind of warmish day in New York and there's lots of people outside. It almost feels like life is sort of normal-ish, you know, besides the fact that everything is still going on. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go to walk to Trader Joe's. I'm gonna grab some of my reusable bags. I keep my bags on the back of this door. So I have like, one from Cezanne that I use for just like everything. And then I have others that I've just like, I don't know, gathered from different places. I have like this kind obviously, but these are kind of more so like if I was going to a farmer's market. And then I have like other ones down here, like my Trader Joe's one. So just gonna grab some of those and yeah, do the walk down to Trader Joe's.
<laughs> quick whew, grocery haul. I have three bags here. I actually got a lot of stuff this week, so I'm really excited. First off, I got this tzatziki. It is a creamy garlic cucumber dip, which I'm really excited about. I think I'm actually going to uh, for dinner. I got some zucchini squash and yellow squash. So these I think I'm going to roast up for like dinner this week, but for tonight, I think I'm going to eat these raw and dip them in the tzatziki. It's just like a good idea that I have. Hopefully it tastes good. <laughs> we'll see, I guess. I got some cucumbers for my salads for lunch. Also, before I go any further, I should kind of explain when I go grocery shopping, what I'm thinking in the back of my head. So for breakfasts for the week, normally that's when I do smoothies. So I'll do berries, so I get like any kinds of berries, fruit, and then I'll do that with coconut water, some pomegranate juice, chia seeds, uh, anything like that. And then for lunch is when I do my salad, so I do my leafy greens, that's when I'll have avocado, and I'll also do watery based vegetables like cucumbers and tomatoes. And then for dinner is when I'll do the like more squashy type vegetables like zucchini squash, yellow squash, eggplant, and I'll also do that with some greens like some brown rice or something. And then as far as like nuts and stuff go, sometimes I'll do a homemade granola that I make of nuts for breakfast sometimes. So yeah, that's kind of like what I have thinking in the back of my head when I'm shopping for groceries for the week. That's pretty much, that's like how I eat every day during the weekdays, during like work, like Monday through Friday, the five days of the week. I very much stick to this regimen. I don't order out ever. And then on the weekends is usually when I go out to dinner or brunch and stuff with Lyle or with my friends. And so then that's when my schedule just gets totally different. So that's kind of like how I do it is I like to be like healthy during the week, during the weekdays when I feel like life isn't as fun anyways because <laughs> we're working. Might as well just keep the theme going. And then on the weekends is when I kind of cheat a little bit and I eat a little bit less healthy. <laughs> So on that note, I also got some corn. So this corn I also thought could be fun for like a dinner. I love corn on the cob, so I was really excited to see it. Can't wait to have that. I got some heirloom medley tomatoes. I love the ones that are multicolored, and I'll just put these in my salads for the week. I got some black peppercorns and Himalayan salt because I was out of both of mine at the same time randomly, and yeah, Trader Joe's does ones that are such a good price, so. Yeah, and I obviously use these all the time. That's it for the first bag. Okay, second bag, I got some sweet potato gnocchi. I love just heating this up in the microwave for dinner. It is like such an easy go-to dinner of mine that I do. Often it's a little bit more of a, yeah, it's just an easy meal. I got some frozen mango because I love Trader Joe's frozen mango and I put this in my smoothies in the morning. I also got some frozen shrimp because I am a shrimp junkie. I love shrimp so much. I will eat, I'll just boil these up. I'll do shrimp cocktail or I'll throw some in my salads, but I love shrimp. <laughs> no, but any occasion. Okay, I know I don't normally get cheese, but this week I just got cheese. <laughs> I don't know why. But anyways, I got this laughing cow cheese. I don't know if you guys have ever tried this, but this was like a childhood favorite of mine. So when I saw it in the store, I was kind of like, yeah, maybe I'll get that. So I like to have this. They come in like, they're all like little triangles in there. And I dip pretzels in them. So I got these like flat pretzels. So that's like a really easy just like snack. Oh, and I got some balsamic vinaigrette dressing for my salads. I got some ice cream this week. I don't know. I always need to have something sweet, whether it's like some chocolate or something. I just need to have an option or else like I go crazy. So this week I got, this is a non-dairy oat strawberry ice cream so yeah I thought that would be good I saw like an ad earlier with strawberry ice cream in it and so like it made me crave strawberry ice cream I got some almond milk I got some organic air popped popcorn because this is also another snack this is like a healthier snack it's 130 calories per serving and all it is is organic popcorn organic sunflower oil and sea salt so yeah really easy another snack of that i love to get are these seaweed snacks these are wasabi flavored roasted seaweed i love these i also randomly like i said i got cheese this week which is weird because i never get cheese but i was craving cheese so much last week that like i just needed cheese in my fridge this week 
I got crumbled goat cheese. I love goat cheese and I will put this in my salads and I'll actually just end up crumbling it anyways, but usually it comes in like the log. So the fact that they made one that was already crumbled, I was like, perfect. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that in my salads this week. I'm so excited make salads a little bit more exciting. This is something I haven't gotten from Trader Joe's in a long time, but when I lived in Brooklyn, I used to get these all the time. It is called a blueberry walks into a bar. And yeah, they're just like blueberry bars, uh, kind of like a Nutri-Grain bar, but blueberry, and they are so much better than regular Nutri-Grain bars. Well, I do love Nutri-Grain bars too, but these, just something with like the blueberry flavor in these is just exceptional. I got bananas, because I like to freeze them and put them in my smoothies or I'll put some in like some oatmeal. I got some coconut water because I'm almost out and I put this in my smoothies. I got some salad lettuce. This is just an organic spring mix. I think it's literally a dollar, dollar 99. I got my typical strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries for my smoothies. So I'm going to wash these off, cut these up, and then freeze all of these for my smoothies this week. Also something interesting I'm trying, trying out this week. This is a chopped vegetable mix. So as you can see here, it's chopped carrots, onions, and celery. So this is like a good base for a soup. So I got that and I got some, sorry, my camera battery died. But I think I was saying that this is something new that I'm trying this week. It's carrots, onions, and celery, which is a good base for a soup. And so I got this and some vegetable broth. So I'm going to do this together. And then I also got some noodles put in them they're just fusilli noodles so I figured that could be a nice like almost like a chicken noodle without the chicken soup <laughs> that would just be like a really easy meal I got an eggplant gonna roast this up for dinner this week this is avocados for my salads and then some broccoli also for my salads okay I think that's everything the very last thing is I got some hand sanitizer. This is a spray one. I like the spray so much better, better just because they're like so much easier to use. And this one is lavender scented, so I hope that it is nice. But yeah, I just keep these in my handbags and I use them like every time I leave a store, go into a store, anytime I touch a doorknob, I just spray myself just to be safe. But yeah, I got this one. And that is it. So now I need to just figure out what I want for dinner. I think I, I think my original idea was that I was just going to order something for dinner, but since I have all of this food here, I might as well make myself something. I'm really thinking about doing the zucchini and then maybe having some like pretzels. That's such like a me meal is just like eating like random little things. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna do that. Okay, so this is the dinner situation <laughs> I was talking about. I'm such a weirdo. Okay, let me try this. I'm kind of it looks good. It smells good. Mmm. It tastes very fresh. Like exactly what I had in mind. I'm so excited. I think that the I think there might even be dill or something in here. But it's so good. Mmm. Okay, pause, pause, pause. I was just eating my dinner. I'm watching To All the Boys I've Loved Before. It's the third one, Always and Forever. Okay, first of all, I don't know, if, like, in my vlogs, I always go to this place, the Little Cupcake Bake Shop, because it's near me, and, like, I'm obsessed with that corner. And that's one of, why, one of the main reasons I wanted to live here was because I just had always pictured myself living near that corner. So I always go to the Little Cupcake Bake Shop, and then in the show, they get a pink couch just like this, like that looks just like this, and they try to shove it into the subway. I'm like, this is so funny, like, little cupcake sh bake shop, pink couch that's like this. So weird, right? So many similarities. <laughs> I'm like not even halfway through the movie, but I don't know, have you guys seen it? Did you see that? I think actually when I first saw the like the little cupcake bake shop I was like oh yeah like like I think someone had previously commented on one of my videos like oh I saw that in the movie and I was watching I was like okay and then I was like wait the pink couch is the same so much is the same it's so funny um 
But anyways, yeah, I thought it was cute how like they went to New York and did all the things. Like I saw them going to Levain and Magnolia Bakery and they went to Washington Square Park. Just like so many, they did like all of the cool, like fun quintessential New York things in one day. So that's cute. Anyways, this is a cute movie. <laughs> I'm gonna keep watching it. I'm eating that ice cream now, the non-dairy one. It's okay. I don't know. It's obviously, it's not like ice cream ice cream. It's like a oat ice cream, like a vegan ice cream, non-dairy. So yeah, it's all right. But <laughs> yeah, watching to all the boys. So fun Saturday night and just me and my popcorn and ice cream. <laughs> Sunday morning now and I really 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 need to do my laundry uh yeah <laughs> so I'm just kind of sorting it out I do like my darks lights and whites and then I'm gonna bring this over to Lyle's with my laptop and I'm gonna start editing this video and then we will go from there but yes just doing some laundry sorting this morning and I love how bright and sunny it is out it's gonna be a beautiful day in the late or in the high 50s I did my laundry today and that was like my big event of the day I wanted to go to this place called the hair shop and look at like hair extensions and stuff but it closed at 5 and I was done with laundry at like 4 so it and it was like uptown so it would have been like I would have had much time there so I guess I'll do that in like a future vlog or something but I was just really tired today. Uh, I ate a quick dinner. I put my laundry away. I watched a movie on Hulu. And now I'm just going to do a workout. And before I do that, I am going to put an Olaplex treatment in my hair. I have my water bottle. I'm just going to fill this with water. So it is this one right here. It's called Olaplex number three. It is for repairing and strengthening and it says to apply on damp towel dried hair so I mean the way that you can usually do that is from a spray bottle because I'm always like if I'm gonna shower after my workout anyways like good time to do a hair mask so and I've been trying to do this once a week to strengthen my hair over time I just take a wide tooth comb and I just gently brush through it so that it spreads evenly on my hair from the roots to the end of my hair to actually work out. <laughs> as far as putting it back, I just put it in a low braid just to make it easier and to be gentle on the hair and not put it like up in a bun or something because I know that when the hair is wet it's more fragile and easier to 
break and get damaged. So I'm just trying to do something like a very loose braid with one of these hair ties that are, you know, like the flat ones. Okay. <laughs> Got my laundry drying right here. So before I do a workout, I always do a stretch first. It's just something that I picked up from doing like gymnastics and dance and cheerleading. Like you always stretch first. And so, yeah, I just, I can't not do it. So I have like a stretching routine that I've been doing since those days. Uh, if you guys ever want to see it in a future video, let me know. I don't know if that would be interesting to you or not. Cause I'm not really like a fitness <laughs> channel or a person, <laughs> but yeah, anyways, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to do a workout and yeah, just trying to get my workouts in for the week. <laughs> that was a really good workout I did 10 minutes or 15 minutes of hit and 15 minutes of Pilates so that was really good I'm kind of out of breath now but yeah I guess I'm pretty much just gonna end the vlog here I think because all I'm gonna do now is just hop in the shower finish the last tiny bit of editing this video and then post it to go live tomorrow uh, yeah, I also posted on my Instagram stories today a like a Q&A box. I think this Thursday I'm going to do a Q&A video, which I realized I haven't done in a while, at least since I've moved to this apartment. So uh, definitely um, have met a lot more of you guys now. So yeah, I figured it was time to do one. So we'll do that on Thursday. And yeah very very exciting stuff so thank you so much for watching I really hope that you enjoyed this video uh, definitely don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and check out the fashion squirrel <laughs> and hopefully I will see you guys next time okay bye